guys. I am so sorry for such a late video. Um, I'm filming this on the 23rd of October and this is going to be my like last minute Halloween costume kind of makeup thing. Um, it's not so much like a Halloween costume that you have to like buy or like even make. Like honestly, this is just maybe some articles of clothing you may have in your closet or just some jewelry that your mom or you have because um, it's kind of like basic things that you'll have in your closet. So for these last like six days until Halloween, I'm going to be posting hopefully two or three videos that are like last minute looks. Today I'm going to be doing a cracked porcelain doll makeup kind of feel look-ish thing. Um, so it's basically full coverage and you know, obviously cracks in my face. If you guys know, porcelain dolls are super like, just flawless. So a lot of the makeup I use in this video is gonna be just like either obviously too much that I normally wouldn't use on a normal basis. So yeah, so I hope you guys like this look. I'm actually gonna be talking through it instead of having a voiceover because so many people have voiceovers for like these Halloween looks, but I kinda wanted to talk to you guys so I can explain it to you, like all the detail work, whatever I do, if any, on my face. So let's jump into so, it. So um, for this look, you know, porcelain dolls either have curly hair or like really like curly bangs. So I'm just gonna be putting my bangs off to the side, taking my Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion. Looks like this. Um, this is a great like pore filler kind of thing, primer. Um, out of the ones I've tried, this one is so smooth and you honestly don't even need that much. It's super smoothing and I almost think of it as the, um, what is it? The Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. Put it around my nose because that's where my pores are the largest and just swipe it down whatever extra I have. You know, I was debating whether how this makeup look would look like because some porcelain dolls are really shiny so I was like that's basically like a dewy look but then the other ones are really like mattifying so I was like do I use a dewy spray or a mattifying spray so I end up going with dewy because a larger range of dolls are shinier because they're made of porcelain and they're glass usually so I just decided to go dewy using my sample uh, Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is just a sample from Sephora. I heard Kim Kardashian uses it and Jaclyn Hill um, started talking about it and I tried it because of the sample and I didn't want to buy it because it's $42. But honestly, this is a good investment for like a dewy spray. I spray it um, on my cheeks mostly because I don't want my forehead to be too shiny because my bangs are going to cover it anyways. So I'm just going to spray some. It's so small, I'm like... Um, so I'm just gonna let that dry a little and get my makeup ready. This is so shiny. I think it has glycerin in it, just like, you know, spray like Matte Fix Plus or even like the NYX Dewy Finish kind of deal or the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I'm gonna be taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and it's literally like concealer. You could just use concealer, but I don't know, I like this and I, I'm, I have it, so I might as well use it. I'm gonna be taking it on my Morphe E10 brush. It's just a flat shader brush. I think it's a concealer brush. I'm not sure. Most of them don't wear eyeshadow, but I'm gonna make this a little bit more glamorous in a sense because it is last minute. You don't have to put eyeshadow, but I'm just gonna put like a transition color. Just like a powder, either translucent or just an eyeshadow that is closest to my skin color. So I'm going to be taking my uh, Morphe M209 brush. I'm just going to set my eye because for porcelain dolls we want our face to be wet, not so much our eyelids. Taking Beaches and Cream by Makeup It's just this really neutral, or it's not even an orange, it's just a light peach color. I'm just going to be taking this on my Morphe E22 brush and it's like a dome shape brush. Perfect blending but it also comes to a point so it's great. And I'm just going to be taking this on my crease. Um, obviously it's okay if it's messy. So, if you are a little darker in um, complexion 
You can even take Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. It's just more orangey and not as neutral. I'm going to be taking Country Girl by Makeup Geek. It's just this light purple. And on my Morphe M433, which is just a dupe for the MAC 217. Making it an outer circle, like a C shape, because we are not be doing like a cat like um, style. Then I'm going to be taking Corrupt by Makeup Geek. The first brush we use, the Morphe E22, the dome shaped brush kind of deal. And I'm just going to be taking it on the very top, deepening this up. Only going to keep it here in the crease because if I take it down to my lid, it's going to look like a black eye if I don't blend it well enough either. And I'm just trying to deepen it up, not so much get a smoky eye. Like I said, this is totally unnecessary. I just wanted to deepen up my porcelain doll. I'm taking my Morphe M209 brush, the brush we use to set our base, and I'm going to be taking Peach Smoothie and honestly just packing it on to like kind of erase any of the harsh edges left from the black. Taking Peach Smoothie, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and clean up other edges. I'm going to go super dramatic. My brows. I kind of already filled them in because I had school this morning, so obviously I want my brows to look great. So basically, I'm going to be taking my Sasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I'm taking the brush that comes with it. I turn my brush vertical and create hair like detailing, I guess you would say. Just brushing upwards. Because if I brush sideways, I mean, it'll be fine. It's just if I brush upwards, I can clean up the excess over here. They're obviously hella dark, so I'm going to clean up the edges with some concealer. Really just carving this brow out. It kind of looks symmetric. To set them, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. So this is supposed to be like last minute, please. Moisturizer, primer, and then my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist thing. So for porcelain dolls, like I said, I'm going to do shiny. So I'm going to take a combination of this Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear. Oh, this is not really matte, but um, Matte Wear Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade Beige 5. And then I'm going to be taking a sample of Too Faced Born This Way um, Foundation in Neutral Beige because it's a luminous finish. I'm just gonna apply it with my Morphe M439 brush. And this is a bigger, like, dense kabuki brush, so it's just gonna go over, like, all the places. Taking my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, it's just a yellow-based concealer, so it's gonna be super highlight. I'm just gonna be taking this under my dark circles. Taking and my, like, dupe beauty blender, and I'm just gonna pat it. And to set my under eyes, I'm gonna be taking my Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. And I'm just going to set it with this Real Techniques setting brush. Taking my NYX taupe. I'm going to go blush. really lightly in the cheekbones. And then on my nose. And on my forehead. So now I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Finish. Set everything and literally make everything like we have no pores. And I'm just going to be taking on the same foundation brush I used. And literally just patting it Using in. a cream blush. This is Ha Molly by Maybelline Dream Bouncy on my uh, Bare Minerals Perfecting Face. I'm gonna pack a lot of this because, you know, these dolls are literally always blushing. Quickly moving on to my lips, I'm gonna be taking my NYX Lip Pencil in Hot Red. It's number 817. I'm taking this Moochie's CoverGirl Lip Slicks and text me. Since this is kind of shiny with the lips, um, I'm just going to take some like toilet paper and my Revlon Photo Ready 
powder, the one we put all over our faces, and my Morphe 310 brush. Make sure it's only one. If it's like more than one, you're not gonna get it. And then I'm just gonna, as you can see, my lips not that shiny anymore. I had that toilet paper and then I just patted it on. Your mouth like kind of open. You don't want to move the brush too much because then you're going to remove the product and get it all over your face. My lips aren't going anywhere. Okay. So I'm going to highlight my face with the same brush. And I went to MAC yesterday and I picked up that new <laughs> highlighter. You know me. Oh my god. It's Oh Darling. Um, it's their holiday collection in October. Like, are you kidding me? Just this. Oh my god. It's. I feel like it's. A dupe would be like the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I'm just gonna take a little and I'm just gonna... Like, are you kidding me? Like, oh my god. Like I say, any products I used are just product recommendations. You really don't have to. You could leave it at this, put some liner and then lashes and you're like good to go. But like I said, I'm gonna crack myself. Like, I've been broken. I'm going to be taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. You could use an eyeliner as well. Taking Corrupt from Makeup Geek. I'm just going to basically set this. NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk with my Morphe M43 and get some on my brush here. I'm just going to be drawing some cracks down here. I'm just going to be taking Ice Queen by Makeup Geek, setting that white crack effect. Oh. I'm going to be taking Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek as like a transition color from the white to the black. I'm going to take Corrupt by Makeup Geek and basically outline it. Just taking my Morphe M433, I'm packing on as much black as I can. So now I'm just going to be applying some eyelashes and the eyelashes I picked out are these uh, kiss lashes in number 11. So I even wanted to apply some bottom lashes just for <laughs> the fun of it. These are the Ardell Glamour in 112. I'm just gonna take some black eyeliner to cover up the lash band. So I'm just gonna apply some NYX Dewy Finish. Hope you guys have a fun, great, and happy Halloween. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this video was kinda long. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and what you guys want to see next. Not necessarily for Halloween, but for, you know, regular looks. Honestly, be as creative as you want. This is just Halloween. You can be whoever you want to be and nobody is going to judge you, so. Oh my god, I'm like... I'm literally sweating. If I turned off all the lights, <laughs> you would follow my nose, so.